Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hallelujah. It is prayer time. Hallelujah. Blessings on you if you are joining. Thank you so much for joining. Please be sure to share this prayer. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying for our breakthrough on today. Hallelujah. The breaker is here. Come on, my breakthrough is now. How many of you are in need of a breakthrough? How many of you have been going through some trying times, some troubling times, some times of testing? Your faith is being tested. Your patience has been tested. Come on, the enemy has been on your head about your faith, trying to get you to dwindle in your faith, trying to let you know and make you believe that you are going to be in the same spot that you have been in, that there is no progression taking place. Come on, how many of you have come today to call the devil a liar and to exalt the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings? Because the breaker is here. Hallelujah. The breaker is here. He's already gone before you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, we are going to begin to pray. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what this prayer is going to be. Just break down a little um, some um, stuff for you just really quick. So that way we can go ahead and jump into the prayer. If you do not yet know who I am, my name is Minister LaShondra. I am over the singles over at the Mouth of God Ministries. And Apostle Winston and Lady Jessica Cooper are our leaders. Hallelujah. We are located at 7615 Helmer Street. That's in Houston, Texas. So if you are looking for a church home, you want to feel free. Come by, come visit us. We'd love to have you. There is a place for you. Hallelujah. So this is our weekly singles prayer. Every Wednesday at 1215, I go live to pray. Hallelujah. So this is your day. If this is your first time joining, thank you for joining. Be sure to let me know this is your first time. If you continue to join, thank you for coming each and every week. I understand. And I believe that the Lord has been speaking to you as he has been speaking through me with these prayers. Hallelujah. So I believe we are in a, a great space. We are in a great space, an opportune space. Like this is the time where your faith shall be elevated and increased because this prayer should definitely increase your faith. Your faith. Blessings on you, Minister Maya. Could you do me a favor and share this to the other singles? Begin to share this out. Hallelujah. Um, the breaker is here. I've been seeking for a breakthrough. I don't know about you, but I need a breakthrough in my life. I've been feeling like I've been working and toiling and doing the things of God and doing what he's charged me to do. Yet and still, there is still poverty knocking at my door. And I keep telling poverty, you have no place here. There is still some things where I look around and I, I'm looking around my area and I'm seeing some things not lining up to what I decree and what the Lord has spoken over my life. And so, I, you know, this is the time. Come on, your breakthrough is now. Now is the time for your breakthrough. I'll be coming from Micah, 2 verse 13 and it reads the one who breaks open the way will go before them they will break through the gate and go out their king will pass through before them the lord at their head hallelujah if you're not familiar with this um michael the lord uses young god to speak a word because of the rebellion that was going on over um that he had went to proclaim disaster that was going to take place um over Judah and uh, so in Samaria, Ju Jerusalem in Samaria, because they began to live around um, certain people that were do worshiping idol gods, and they did not uh, seem to have a problem with that. They began to take some part partake in that as well, and so the Lord was angry because He had also given this same same message that He gave through Moses: "My people are to worship Me, and only Me. There should be no other gods before You. I've delivered You, you know, out of that." Egypt. And so he said that he was going to send um, an attack, the Assyrians, where they were going to be overtaken by the Assyrians. OK, now this is the promising thing that I love about God. Once we repent, once we get into a space and understand that we need him, he is the one and only God, the true God. He is the Lord, our savior. He is our deliverer. When we come to our senses and understand that, Lord, we know we was wrong. I'm wrong. I began to chase after other idols and do stuff that I was not called, that you didn't call me to do. I was doing stuff against your word, your will for my life, your precepts. I'm 
sorry. I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to worship you and only you. Come on. How many of you have gotten to that space? And then you turned around and you keep looking around and food prices keep going up. Come on. There, there's some oppression that you may feel. You may not feel like you haven't gotten a raise at your job and I don't know how long, but prices keep increasing. Come on. There's some things that are going on and you're looking around and you're feeling oppressed. And you're just saying, Lord, I just need a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough in my finances. I need a breakthrough in my mind. Like how many of you need a mindset change? Like there's some things I need a breakthrough in my family. There's some people that are bound that I want to see saved. Come on, begin to declare that I'm trying to increase your faith one today. This is what we're going to be praying. So a breaker means to break through or down, to burst out. OK, it is to break or burst forth from a womb It's to break into, to break open, to burst open, to break into pieces It's to smash down. It's all of that. OK, the Lord is our breaker. When we read this, the breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. This kind of reminds me of even the children in Israel. When the Lord began to part the Red Sea, like there were some things that he needed to do that, that the children could not of Israel could not deliver themselves on their own. There's some things that we are in that we just cannot deliver ourselves out of. We need the Lord to go before us. We need the Lord to break down the walls, to break down the barriers, to break down every restriction that's beginning to feel you, cause you to feel like you are oppressed and you're in this state and you are not moving forth. I love these three verbs that was used. They break through. They march through. They go out. It's it's like can you can you imagine they break through. They march out. They go out. They break through. They go out. They march out. This is what it's saying. The breakers come before them. They have broken up. They've broken out. They have passed through the gate. Come on. You do not have to be stuck in that situation. We're not being stuck. We're going to move forward. Okay. It is just a depiction. It says the Lord is at their head. Listen, God is before you. I know we sing that song that he's before us and he's behind us and on the side of us. Yes, he is all of those things. But you have to know that the Lord has already gone before you. He's broken those barriers down and you need to just begin to move forward because this was, was a promise. Like it's Jehovah, just like he went, sent the angel to go before the children of Israel to lead the way. This is a, a great depiction of the breaker. He went before you, broke the um, gates down, tore everything down. Because if you go and read... Uh, I'm not going to even go through all that because I got me. It got me all stirred. But y'all need to go and read this because if it, the, you go to the beginning. It says that when the Lord comes down and he comes to visit everything, everything that feel like is high and lifted up, everything that we've exalted, these mountains and buildings and whatever is going to all melt. When the presence of God comes to deal with a thing, it melts away. It deteriorates. It goes away. So y'all go read that so you can understand what the Lord your breaker is doing for you. OK, he's going to lead you and guide you he's gonna break those gates he's gonna be god right god is the breaker he's gonna go before you he's gonna lead you and guide you so every step of the way you need to be taken with him he's going to deliver you from out of that situation come on your your breakthrough is here okay and he's going to begin to fulfill the promise just like he did he's continued to do it over and over again so we're going to begin to um pray okay proclaiming that God is present and he's actively working in our lives. He's actively working uh, and breaking us through. He's actively there. God does not have to show up. He's already there. He's in that thing with you. He just needs you to have, raise your faith and understand that he's breaking down every barrier, all the difficulty, everything, every challenge that you have. Come on, you're breaking through. You're breaking through. God, we thank you. We thank you that you're not distant. We thank you, Father, that you're not passive. We thank you, Father, but you are actively involved in our lives. We thank you, Father, for being the Lord, our breaker. We thank you, Father, for being God, being God all by yourself. Hallelujah. We thank you just for being who you are. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Beside you, there is no other, Father. I thank you that I can call on your name and be saved. I thank you that I can put my trust in you and not be put to shame. I thank you that I can come boldly before your throne of grace to 
find mercy in the time of need. Your mercies are renewed each day. And so I thank you for this day that I'm able to even come into your presence and come before you, Father, a holy king, a righteous king, a loving king, a faithful father. Father, I thank you that I have access to come unto you, Father, who can come up, up unto the king, but he who has clean hands and a pure heart, Father, purify our hearts, make us righteous, God. Give us a clean hands and pure hearts, God. We want our hearts to be upright with you. Cleanse our hands, oh, Father, begin to purge us. We repent of all of our sins, God. Forgive us, Father. Forgive us for falling away. Forgive us for lacking in faith. Forgive us, oh, Father, for every sin and iniquity that we have caused before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, cleanse me, oh God. Make my way right. Make my path right, God. Make my mind right, Father. I want my heart to be right in the mighty name of Jesus. So we just worship you. We honor we. We adore you, Father. We come before you humble. Come on, begin to declare unto the king. Hallelujah. We come to you humble, oh God, to seek your presence in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for your love and your grace in the mighty name of Jesus. We recognize that you are the source. You are our source. You are our power. Nothing oh father is impossible without you there's nothing impossible for you father in the mighty name of jesus there's not anything too hard for you and so we reverence you for being who you are we are in need of a breakthrough come on begin to declare lord i am in need of a breakthrough hallelujah you see my battles that i'm facing you see the challenges father that's weighing heavy upon my heart you see father the obstacles that are standing in my way father in the mighty name of jesus i acknowledge that in my own strength i'm not able to overcome them father but i understand understand but my strength comes from you hallelujah and so father your word says that my weakness hallelujah my weakness father it becomes strong in you so right now father we lay our burdens down we lay our fears down god we lay, oh, Father, our thoughts down, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We lay every anxiety down. We lay every problem, God. We lay it down at your feet, God. Hallelujah. Trusting that you will move every situation, God. You will move every mountain, oh, Father. I know you said that we can speak to the mountain and it be removed, Father, but we are in need of you to be the Lord, our breaker, the one that goes before us, the one that breaks the gate, Father. Any obstacle that's standing in our way, Father, that's too strong for us. We need your divine intervention in the the mighty name of Jesus begin to give us breakthrough in our lives God we want to have breakthrough in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus we need breakthrough father we need breakthrough God breakthrough in our mental capacity father in the mighty name of Jesus every evil thought every evil intent wicked intent that comes from the evil one that tries to come and plant seeds within our minds God begin to break us through burst us through God bring us into a new level bring us into a new way of thinking father in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus, I thank you that breakthrough is here even for my family members, God. All my unsaved family members, God, I call them out to you, Father. Come on, begin to name them. Begin to declare who, who is saved, Father. I declare and decree that you begin to break through even for my family members, God. Begin to call them yours. Begin to call them by them, their name, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, break us through, Father. We are in need of you to get us to the other side. We are in need of you to lead us and guide us, Father. In in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to break down, hallelujah, every barrier that seeks to keep your people stagnant. Begin to break down, Father, every barrier that's standing in the way of your people and keeping them from moving forward, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to give your people, Father, even the courage that they need to step out in faith, to step out in faith, to believe you, God. Give them the courage that they need to step out when you begin to break the bars, God, when you begin to open the gate in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them not appear and make them not think that they are still stuck and they are still stagnant but give them father hallelujah the courage to move forward the courage to go along the path that you have for them in the mighty name of jesus we speak breakthrough over our relationships come on how many of you need a breakthrough in your relationship father we thank you for the breakthrough of re restoring god mothers to daughters and fathers to sons we thank you hallelujah for restoring relationships god repairing relationships for breakthrough in relationships that communication has become 
stagnant in the mighty name of Jesus. Every relationship, whether it's a, a platonic relationship, God, whether it's a relationship on our job, on our co-workers, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, hallelujah, for breakthrough in our family relationships, God. You will put every evil altar to shame, Father. I thank you, hallelujah, that my finances are having a major breakthrough. Come on, how many of you need a breakthrough in your finances, Father? We need increase in our finances, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to break through for us, God. Begin to open the barns, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Pave the way, Father. Show us the way. Hallelujah. We thank you for major breakthrough, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall have what you said that you have promised us, God. We are going after and seeking after the promises of God. We understand that the promises of God is yes and amen. And so, Father, begin to increase our finances, God. Begin to double and triple and quadruple our status, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, our network, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, our gross income, Father. We are in need of an increase of finances, of cause new finances to flow. As we begin to be great stewards over our finances, God, you are increasing us with more. Nothing can keep our finances hidden, God. There's not anything that can keep, no person that can keep our finances away from us. God, begin to uncover every hidden secret and every hidden scheme, God, that's causing the, the that's caused against us, Father, that's trying to keep us oppressed. I know, God, that you do not like the oppressor, Father. So begin to break the barns, God. Begin to pass, cause me to pass through the gate in the mighty name of Jesus. I understand that you've already gone before me. Hallelujah. And so, Father, I've received my increase. By, come on, begin to receive your increase by faith. Begin to receive your increase by faith. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by your spirit, God. Cause your spirit to go before me, God. Cause opportunities to open up for me, oh, God. God. Cause open doors, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, even in this season, Father. I thank you, hallelujah, for breakthrough in my health. How many of you need a breakthrough in your health? How many of you need healing in the mighty name of Jesus? You said healing is the children's bread. How my casoria by begin to melt every illness away, God. Begin to cause every illness and every infirmity that come up against my body. Cause it to melt away, God. Cause it to be nothing, God. Begin to cause breakthrough to happen in my health in the mighty name of jesus i thank you that i am healthy and wealthy i thank you father that i am healthy and wealthy come on somebody just declare that i thank you father that i am healthy and wealthy in the mighty name of jesus begin to break through every area of my life god where i need your intervention begin to break through god where there is division father begin to bring unity in the mighty name of jesus where there is lack god cause your provision to provide in the mighty name of jesus where there is sickness God, begin to bring healing and a casoria by oh my God, where people are in despair, God, cause them to be hopeful, break through God, give them a breakthrough, Father, cause them to see the light, cause them to see you in the midst, cause them to know, Father, that you are with them you've never left them and you've never forsaken them, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your people know that no weapon formed against them shall prosper come on, no weapon formed against you shall prosper hallelujah and every wicked tongue that rises up against you you shall begin to condemn it that is your heritage that is your inheritance that is your birthright that is your portion you get to condemn every evil and wicked attack no weapon no weapon formed against my life will prosper no oppression that's formed against my life will prosper no lack that's formed against my life will prosper no sickness that's formed against my life will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, God. I thank you for the breakthrough. I thank you for the breakthrough. I thank you for the breakthrough in my spiritual life. Come on. How many of you need a breakthrough in your spiritual life? Your prayer life has waxed cold. I'm a kasori abaka. Come on, your word life has waxed cold. Father, we need a breakthrough. We want to hunger and thirst after you. You said those that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. When we seek you, we will find you. Give us breakthrough, God. We need a major breakthrough in our spiritual life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we want to draw closer to you, God. Anything that's standing in the way that's causing us to get closer to you, Father, remove it out of the way. 
today in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to know you deeper, God. We want to know you on a deeper level, God. You said deep call it unto the deep, Father. So begin to draw us closer. Draw us closer to you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm in need of a breakthrough. I need a breakthrough, Father, in my studies. There's something that keeps, that keeps seeming to clog my mind, God, causing me not to be focused, cause me not to want to read your word, God. I need breakthrough in my study life, Father, so that I can advance in my spiritual life. Come on, Lord, help me. Break me through, Father. I need a breakthrough in prayer. I need to reach you on a deeper level in prayer, God. I want to seek your face on a deeper level in prayer, God. Breakthrough in my prayer life. Breakthrough in my prayer life, God. I repent, oh, Father, for sleeping on my watch. I will come to pray to you, God. I need breakthrough in my prayer life. In the mighty name of Jesus, revive my prayer life, God. I I won't let the fire on the altar go out. I'm a Kasoria by. Begin to break through for me, God. Bring me on the other side, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. In advance, my breakthrough is here. I thank you that my breakthrough is here. I thank you, Father, that I am beginning to see results. Come on. You're going to begin to declare exactly what it is that you are in need of. You are going to begin to change your language. I am that I am, God. You are everything that I need. You are everything that I ever need, God. Everything that I want, you are that. You are the Lord, my breaker. You are the Lord, my savior. You are the Lord, my deliverer. You are I am that I am. You are Yahweh. Way. You are Elohim. You are the first God. You are the almighty one. You are the holy one. You are the righteous one. You are the perfect one. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you in advance for being the Lord my breaker, for breaking every oppressive spirit off of my life, for breaking every oppressive spirit off of my prayer life, for breaking every oppressive spirit off of my relational life. In the mighty name of Jesus. For those that are seeking marriage, God, I pray that you cause them to break through. Cause them to break through, God. Begin to send your sons and daughters their way so that their marriage, God, may be conducive for the glory of your kingdom. I thank you, Father that breakthrough is here. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for going before me. You are faithful God. You are a promise keeper. You are a promise keeping God. You cannot lie. You will not lie. And so Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Jesus. I thank you for going before me and making my pathway straight. I thank you, oh God, for the release. I thank you, Father, for the courage to move forward. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. How my in the mighty name of Jesus, you are faithful and you are just. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful God. Even when I was faithless, you continue to show up. You continue to lead the way in the mighty name of Jesus. And so, Father, I thank you that you hear my prayer. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That I'm trusting in you with my whole heart. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father, that you're making a way. Even when there seems to be no way. Even when I've come to the crossroads, God, and I don't see a way out. I thank you, Father, that even as you did for the children of Israel, that you will begin to part the Red Sea. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you. Hallelujah. That I can lift my hand up to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, and I can praise you. And I can worship worship you, Father, and I can give you thanks and give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you uh, that you make a way out of no way, uh, that you are the will in the middle of the will. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. For being my shelter and being my protector. I thank you, Father. Hallelujah. That you're leading me and you're guiding me because in your word, it says you are my shepherd and I shall not want. You are my shepherd and I shall not want, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you that you make me to lie down in green pastures. Hallelujah. You lead me beside the still waters. Thank you for leading me, God. Thank you for taking me to my wealthy place, God. Thank you, Father, for breaking me through and leading me through, Father. Even uh, you begin to restore my soul, God. 
I thank you uh, that you lead me in the path of righteousness. Uh, you are leading me on the pathway of righteousness. I thank you, God, that you're doing this for your namesake. Uh, I thank you, Father. Hallelujah, that you're leading and guiding me. You've never left me and you're always there. I thank you that even when I walk through the shadow of death, I don't have to feel evil. I don't have to fear evil, God. I don't have to fear it, Father. For you are with me. Come on, thy rod and thy staff, you comfort me in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you. Come on, I thank you for the breakthrough. I thank you for preparing the table of before me in the front of my enemies. Every oppressor, God, every enemy that tried to keep me stagnant, every enemy that came against my destiny, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for preparing the table. I thank you, Father, for the breakthrough of the prepared table in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for anointing my head. Come on, my cup is running over. I thank you, God, that I have more than enough. I thank you, Father, that you anointed my head with oil. I have the anointing. I have your anointing, God. I thank you, Father that I'm overflowing. My cup overflows, overflows, God. And I thank you that your goodness and mercy, hallelujah, I thank you that they follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in your house forever. I will dwell in your house forever, God. I won't turn back. I won't go back. Hallelujah. I follow you, God, by your cloud, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you break me through, as you lead me through, Father. I thank you that you will be glorified, that you will be glorified through the testimonies that shall come forth from my lips, Father. I thank you, hallelujah, for your goodness and your faithfulness. I thank you, Father, for doing it. I received my breakthrough now. Come on, your breakthrough is now. Your breakthrough is now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. I thank you for the breakthrough. Hallelujah. I thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. Listen, God is concerned about the very things that you are concerned about. You do not have to be stuck and stagnant and feeling bound because he is deal dealing with your oppressors. Come on, sometimes you can oppress yourself with your with your mental state, with you thinking um, that you're still bound and you're not. You just need the courage to move forward. The Lord has already gone before you. Come on. Hallelujah. Your breakthrough is now. Every area that you need and breakthrough in, I see the Lord. Hallelujah. I see his hand upon it. Hallelujah. So begin to thank God. Begin to receive of your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is now. Hallelujah. You shall dance. You shall rejoice. Hallelujah. You shall be praising the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him praises in advance. Begin to thank him even through the rest of this week in advance for your breakthrough. Whatever breakthrough it is that you needed, begin to declare that. Lord, thank you. Thank you for my breakthrough in my finances. Thank you for my breakthrough in my marriage. Thank you for my breakthrough in my schoolwork. Thank you for my breakthrough. Whatever it is in my health, God, I thank you that I have breakthrough. I have peace. Come on. You need some peace. You feeling like you need the breakthrough because you feeling like you can't get out of this one spot. The Lord has broken the, the bars. Listen, that gate is open in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall come through like a flood. I just thank God. Hallelujah. You guys be blessed. Tomorrow is Bible study. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday night Bible study at the mouth of God ministries at 7615 Helmer Street. I'd love to see you there. You guys come out. Apostle is over there teaching on deliverance. Come on. Deliverance is your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is now. Come out and get these teachings. Get delivered. Get set free. Listen, that reminds me um, of the scripture. Like who the son sets free is free indeed. Come on. He set you free. You're free. You'll be free indeed. Come on. Your breakthrough. You are free. Come out of that. But come to the deliverance sessions. They will bless your entire life. And you're going to be saying this is the breakthrough that I needed. This is the breakthrough that I needed. Allow the Lord to continue to cultivate your heart. Hallelujah. And he will begin to show out and manifest his blessings and the glory of him, of who he is in a, a natural state. So you keep believing God for your breakthrough. You keep seeking God for your breakthrough. You keep declaring your breakthrough because your breakthrough is now.
You guys be blessed and I'll see you next week.